my people to my teaching. Incline your ear to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable and utter hidden lessons of the past. I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me, we have heard and understood, the things our fathers have told us, these we will not a decree in Jacob. In Israel he set up a law. To our fathers he gave a command to make it known to their children that the next generation might know it, the children yet to be born. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today's Mass is being offered for Gustavo Fernandez. And today's second collection is for Father Joe Damafo for his African mission. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
mighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, the Father. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked say, let us beset the just one because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaching us for transgressions of the law and charges us with violations of our training. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the son of God, God will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes with revilement and torture. Let us put the just one to the test that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death. For according to his own words, God will take care of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
praise your name, O Lord, for its goodness. The Lord upholds my Possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee. But he did not wish anyone to know about it, 
he was teaching his disciples and telling them, the Son of Man is to be handed over to men. And they will kill him. And three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to ask, to question him. He came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent. They had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst and putting his arms around it, he said to them, whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me and Whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Often, I hear people say, the church is so behind. The church really needs to catch up with modern times. Things used to be so different. However, the Bible was written over thousands and thousands, it's thousands and thousands of years old. And it leads us to God. It's not about this or that era, which may be different. The Bible is God's message to us through the sacred scripture. God speaks to us. He has made us in his image. God cherishes us. God wants our life on earth to be successful and the Bible helps us to live that life more successfully, developing a relationship with God that is lasting. St. James, his letter, um, way back when it was written, uh, describes him as being a bishop in in the area known as Jerusalem. And he was writing because he had great concern for the Christians who lived there. He is concerned about their behavior and their relationship with God, many of them were leaving and ignoring God and going about their own way. They were not building the kingdom of peace. St. James is trying to encourage them, saying, I cherish you and I encourage you, I exhort you to lead holy lives and to build peace and a relationship with God. Does that apply to us today? Well, we do see so many empty pews. That's similar to what happened in the time of St. James. 
St. James is encouraging us to help our brothers and sisters out there who are lost, who have lost their relationship, that they who are lost might be found and have peace in their souls. Bring them here to church. Church is the home for every soul where souls are fed with the Eucharist. Jesus dwelling in us. At the end of the gospel, Jesus said, anyone who accepts a little child accepts me. Interesting. When we receive the Eucharist, it helps remind us that, Jesus, that we are brothers and sisters with Jesus here to build a family, a family known as the body of Christ. The world is in such dire need of the church of Jesus. We see this clearly. Bring them back. Bring them back home here. Build a community. Many people need community, a community of love. We pray. We have to pray about that. Amen. Let us pray. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Please join me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, all seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, Begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate, suffered death and was buried. And the third day he rose again. From the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand. And there is to come to living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention that each one of us will hear and take to heart the cry of the earth and of the victims of natural disasters and climactic change and that all will undertake to personally care for the world in which we live. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For Cardinal Sean, our Archbishop, who will soon be retiring, and for his replacement, Bishop Henning, that his transition will be smooth. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our political leaders, that they heed the calling of God to build a culture of life from natural conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us who hunger for meaning and purpose in our daily lives, that our needs will be satisfied by turning to Jesus, the living bread. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For soldiers on active duty and first responders, that their duties be filled with courage, hope, and strength nourished by Jesus, the living bread. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, that they may be strengthened by the hope of the Lord's resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world peace, especially conflicts in the Middle East and in Russia, Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved who have gone before us, may they find a new home in the mystery of Christ's passion, death, and resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we remember Gustavo Fernandez, for whom this Mass is being celebrated. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for hearing the prayers we present. Answer them according to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. of the angels I praise you I bow down toward your holy temple if I walk amid affliction you will give me life O Lord I give thanks to your name for your merciful For you have exalted over all your name and your promise. On the day I called you, answered me, you increased the strength of my soul. If I walk amid affliction, you will give me All earth's kings shall thank you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord, how great is the glory of the Lord. If I walk amid affliction,
pray. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the church. And so... In company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and Robert, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm sorry we don't have any uh, coffee social today after Mass. We have a big event over across the way, a tango competition. Tomorrow night, we have a PPC meeting, and we will discuss the coffee social that we're going to have every Sunday. The bulletin has a special... St. Jude 75th anniversary history section from a wonderful parishioner named E who's doing all this research and putting a bulletin article together every two weeks. So thank you, E. I have a wonderful week. Please look at the rest of the announcements in the bulletin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn can be found at number 307.